Namaste and good morning. It is such a beautiful morning here in Virginia. I hope you're experiencing a beautiful morning wherever you are watching this. It's such a perfect moment of ecstasy. So thank you for being here with me in this moment. Yesterday, I went on a little hike with the family and uh, Uriah, my youngest, and I kind of went off and we did some rock climbing and just a little bit of playing around and it was on this little walk through the forest that um, I was talking to him a little bit about what it looks like to see from the heart and how Seeing from the heart is far more important than seeing with your eyes or even hearing with your ears. And I just want to chat with you about that today. So a few days ago, I um, I was watching the show C on Apple TV, and uh, it's got Jason Momoa in it, and it's an interesting uh, storyline that kind of intrigued me. And so the storyline is about, if you haven't seen it, is. Uh, and I haven't seen much of it, but it's about this um, group of people that survived when most of the world's population was wiped out. There was only like two million survivors, and out of those two million survivors, they had all lost their sight. And generation after generation after generation, they lived with no vision to the point that they actually began to believe as a corporate people that light and that vision were evil. And so if anyone claimed to be able to see, they were considered heretics. <laughs> and I'm watching the show and I'm so much was rising up in me as I was watching this first episode. Is they're feeling around and lear they've learned how to live with and communicate and share in communities but uh, there's so many beautiful things that they're discovering. For instance, um, a lot of the racism that they experienced was wiped out because they could no longer see the color of skin. And um, a lot of how they perceive people as far as being physically beautiful was removed because they could no longer see the blemishes or the scars on someone's face. Ah, oh, gosh. And I was just thinking about how beautiful it is to see from the heart. To be able to see beyond the form. So often our perceptions, our vision blinds us from seeing what is truly present. So often we see someone and we miss, we see in the form, we're seeing, we're living an exterior life and seeing the form and we're missing what they really are. We're looking at the color of skin. We're looking at how big or how little they are, fat or skinny, blemishes or perfection. Oh, we're missing what's there. It's as if, as if our eyes and our vision has blinded us from truly seeing. And so I was telling Uriah the other day, I said, buddy, to see with your heart is more important than to see with your eyes and even to hear with your ears. It's more important than anything here. I want to encourage you right now with that same current encouragement it is more important to learn to see from your heart. I've been telling my students 
and people that I, everyone that I know for a very long time, it's what I think I know about you that will actually hinder my getting to know you. So if, when I sit with you in person and form, I never ask questions about what you do or where you've been. Very seldom do those questions ever rise for me because the answers to those questions will keep me from actually seeing you. I don't want to obtain a bunch of information about what you think you are. Instead, I just want to see who you really are. Beyond the form, beyond your beliefs, beyond your ideas, beyond your perceptions. I want to just see you, and I do. I see you. And I so long for all of humanity to be able to also see from this place of singularity, from this place of the heart to see beyond their perceptions. And so I want to encourage you today to stop allowing your perceptions to blind you from true sight. Open your heart's eyes. And like a child, who opens their eyes for the first time into the brand new world, but it's so fuzzy because they have never used their eyes before. And so they're learning how to use their eyes. And they can only see just a little bit from their face, but they're learning how to see. When you first open your heart, you're learning how to see through this new singular lens, and it doesn't often make sense because things you used to judge as evil or as ugly, now you go, ah, oh, you see them in a different light. And at first it might be a bit blurry, but as they become more lucid, as they become more clear, all of a sudden things really begin to open up and you recognize that you've been living in a room full of light, peering into a room full of light, and you thought it was dark because your eyes had been blinded by your own perceptions, by your own beliefs. And so today, I just want to encourage you to look for this moment, to see in this moment beyond the form To lay down your beliefs about others and to begin to see through a new lens, a new moment. I love you. Drop whatever questions or comments you have below. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, like and share this video. Let's shift to global consciousness together. Hope you have a beautiful day. I'll chat with you tomorrow.